like pretty reasonable yeah, exceptions. Exactly. So um, can you give examples of when and how the curfew would actually sure. be used? Sure, you know, the example I'd like to give, or I, I give to people who have questions about it is, you know, prior to the curfew, um, if we responded to a, a street corner, and you can think of any street corner within our, within our city, um, for a, what was reported to be a fight, you know, loud voices, people yelling at each other, and we'd arrive, um, if there were juveniles on scene and they were, they were involved in you know, just loud talking, you know, the report was not exactly correct, um, they were rep reported to be fighting, but we, we arrive and they just say they're just talking loudly, like kids do sometimes. Um, in the past, if it, was, if it was midnight or if it was one o'clock in the morning, we'd have to say, you know, uh, okay, great, that, that's fine, and we'd, we'd go on our way. Um, now, if that's the case and there's juveniles causing, you know, disturbance to the public, um, we would say, you know, ladies, gentlemen, you're, you're out past the curfew, it's time to go home, um, and, and, you know, it's a late hour, so let's just call it a night. So. And now at that time, um, say, say you're actually going to be writing a citation mm -hmm. to this juvenile. Mm -hmm. Would you be contacting the parents? How, how does that work? Do you bring them to the police station? We would. We'd, we'd uh, issue the citation. Um, we can issue the citation to the parents. Uh, we can issue the citation to the juveniles. Um, we would re definitely call the parents, let them know what was going on, and potentially give the, the juvenile a ride home. Okay. So every uh, you'd make an effort to make we sure would. the parents yeah. are held accountable for knowing where their child yes. is. Yes, we're, re we're required to make a reasonable effort to contact a, a, a parent, guardian, etc. Okay. Now this um, ordinance passed on a 4-3 vote mm -hmm. with the City Council. Mm -hmm. it, it had some controversy. People were concerned that it had only come about to, to enforce it on in mm -hmm. a certain section of town, specifically the southeast side. And it, so what, uh, how, how is it going to be enforced evenly? throughout the community? Well, the first thing is that the, the curfew addresses the entire city. It's not specific to the southeast side or southeast neighborhoods mm -hmm. uh, or, or juveniles who are found on the southeast side only. Um, juveniles found on the north side, uh, juveniles found on the west side. Uh, this curfew applies to every, every juvenile under the age of 18. Um, so it's not, it's not specific to one area. It's not specific to one um, group of people, um, one neighborhood, et cetera. It applies to all juveniles throughout our city. Well, that's that's all great information. I think one of the questions that everyone's going to have is, what is the actual fine and punishment, and mm -hmm. who pays the fine? The fine is is set at fifty dollars. Uh, there are court costs and surcharge surcharges with the fine, um, and the actual written um, fine that someone would have to pay if if cited with the curfew violation would be one twenty seven fifty, one hundred twenty seven dollars and fifty cents. Um, the, there may be a, a misconception out there that, uh, that you would have to go to juvenile uh, detention if you're cited with, the, with a curfew violation. That's not the case. Mm -hmm. um, it's simply just like a traffic citation. If, if you've ever gotten a traffic citation, um, it's, it's on the same form. Actually, it's going to go on, a, on the same form as a traffic citation. Um, and it's a fine assessed or a court date set. And the uh, recipient will have the option of either going to court or paying the fine. Okay. And what happens if someone's a repeat offender? If they, you know, they get numerous citations? Mm -hmm. You know, the, this, the fine does not go up for um, um, subsequent violations. The fine stays the same. Um, if there are um, numerous violations, you know, we have a juvenile who's out five times, then it's, it's officer discretion um, as far as the detention or, you know, um, looking into other charges, et cetera. So the enforcement procedures are, are really outlined mm -hmm. in the ordinance, which is, of course, available on the ICGov website. Right. And we'll put that information up there for everyone. Great. What are the enforcement procedures? The first, the first procedure is going to be, the, the, in the incident of juvenile curfew violation, it's going to be handled similar to you know, any other incident or any other uh, police-related police response. Um, the first thing that's going to happen is the juvenile is going to be a, identified or at least we're going to make an attempt to identify a juvenile. I know, understanding that juveniles don't always have identification on them, mm -hmm. um, we're going to make an attempt to identify the juvenile. Um, after that's done, and after we're sure of their age, their identity, um, that we're, we're being told the truth, uh, then uh, the citation's going to be issued, and we will uh, contact parents and probably give the juvenile a ride home if we can contact the parents. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for Welcome. sitting down and outlining Sure. This, uh, this ordinance, I think it's important that the community really understands uh, the, the details 
sure. this ordinance. No, it's my pleasure. And you know, we, we always want to make or we always want to keep the community informed as far as um, the, the ordinances that are out there that, that could potentially affect them in their lives. And I know, I know I've heard you say it on a number of occasions that you're, you're available, you're open mm -hmm. to phone calls, questions, and if anybody wants to find out more, they can give you a call. And, That's right. And, yeah. uh, and we'll be sure to put that information up there. So, Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this Community Voice. If you'd like any more information on the curfew ordinance, please visit icgov.org and we'll get you all that information. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'm Mayor Matt Hayek, and you are watching City Channel 4. To watch full screen video on demand, tune your TV to Interactive Channel 5 or visit www.citychannel4.com to view City Channel 4 programs online. Community! 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 Voice! <laughs> I do what city is, rap, bop, 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 I do what city is, na-na-na-na-na.